cardiac arrest, CPR, defibrillation. These terms evoke a sense of drama, of medical urgency, and of the boundary between life and death. This boundary between life and death indeed holds many mysteries still to medical practitioners in our modern times. Over the last several decades, we've learned a tremendous amount about better ways to resuscitate people from cardiac arrest. We've learned better approaches to CPR, or cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We've improved our ability to use electrical defibrillation, or electrical shocks, to bring people back into the world of the living. I'm Benjamin Abella, a physician here at the Trauma Center and Department of Emergency Medicine in Philadelphia at the Perlman School of Medicine. My specialty, that of resuscitation science, focuses on this issue of how to bring people back to life after their heart has stopped. The course will describe this topic of cardiac arrest and bring to bear some of the cutting edge science that relates to how physicians, paramedics, and other emergency practitioners bring people back after their heart has stopped. In this course, we will cover topics such as how to perform CPR and what is the science behind chest compressions and mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing. Should we do CPR on everyone with cardiac arrest? When do we use a defibrillator or do CPR and what does the latest science teach us on these topics? We will talk about automatic external defibrillators or AEDs, which many of you see in airports, gyms, and malls, and we'll talk about the science behind them as well. We will also describe some of the underlying physiology of cardiac arrest itself and what do we mean when we talk about this boundary between life and death. Finally, we will talk about some of the most exciting science around bringing people back to health after they have been resuscitated. Topics such as therapeutic hypothermia or whole body cooling to restore heart and brain function will also be covered. This course will introduce you to these topics in a broad survey fashion and will include examples from the latest research and also glimmers of where we're going in the future and how we will, in years to come, improve our ability to bring people back from cardiac arrest. Please join me as we explore this very exciting topic of resuscitation science.